July 27th, 2022 is a day the Scott family will forever come to dread. Rapper Jada Youngin, a member of the family, was ambushed outside his house while he was sharing drinks with his father. Sadly, the rapper didn't make it out of the incident alive. His tragic passing has left fans with one question. Why was he taken out? The real reason he was taken out. On Wednesday, July 27th, 2022, 24-year-old rapper Javarius Scott, aka Jada Youngin, was gunned down outside his home, according to reports. At about 5.50 p.m. on that fateful day, the Bogalusa Police Department received several calls to report an incident that happened in the 600 block of Superior Avenue. According to the statement from the police department, officers responded to the call, where they found one victim who was immediately transported to an emergency room. He had lost consciousness before a first aid helicopter came to transport him to the hospital. When more reports of the attack came to light, it was revealed that Jay had been ambushed by some gangsters. On the fateful day of the tragedy, Jay was with his father, who was also hit during the incident. However, his father survived and gave an account of what happened to himself and his son. Jay's father, Kenyatta Scott Sr., revealed that on July 27th, they were enjoying a little father and son moment outside their home, where they sat, talked, and shared some drinks. However, their moment was soon cut short when three gunmen showed up and fired at him and his son. According to him, Jay was hit five times when the goons pulled up at the front of their home. However, while they were trying to get into the house for cover, two more gunmen showed up from the side of the house. It was a classic ambush that neither of them saw coming. However, Jay Jay's father could fire back at their attackers as he was armed. Sadly, it was too late for him to attack them as Jay suffered more bullet wounds from the two men that took them unaware. On getting to the emergency room, it was discovered that Jada Youngin had suffered at least eight bullet wounds. Unfortunately, he couldn't survive the tragic incident. His father also sustained some wounds, and luckily for him, it wasn't as severe as the wounds his son suffered. He spoke about the tragic passing of his son in an interview where he said that he believed whoever had attacked his son was jealous of his success as a rapper. Jada Youngin didn't have any enemies, according to his dad. His father doesn't think the attack was gang related. He was a good, humble, and respectful kid, Kenyatta Scott said. Who took him out? Since the news of Jay's tragic passing hit the internet, fans have been trying to figure out if the attack was gang related or if it had anything to do with his beef with rappers in the industry. From the looks of things, it may actually have been because of his beef with NBA Youngboy. The beef between NBA Youngboy and Jada Youngin dates as far back as 2019, when Youngboy demanded that Jay take down a preview of a record they were both on. Youngboy shared via Instagram, delete this, I don't know how to, you even got my song. I don't around like that, wrote NBA. A couple of weeks later, Jay replied to Youngboy, I don't give a about that song, that song. He said during an Instagram live, if a don't with me, I don't with a. Despite both rappers being from Louisiana, they never really liked each other, and things got worse between them when Janiyah Michelle, the mother of Youngboy's child, got mixed up in their beef. NBA Youngboy got to hear about it, and he called out Jay in a video he posted online. No, we cloud the whole scene. Check the news, you know what up with me. I'm the top. These is for one and f the dyke. You give a f about none of that. You be hiding. We real head hunters, man. Come on, man. Open their mouth, came to what they was, man. And you caught the kid and left a, and left another fat man in the blind. Oh, we. Jay and Youngboy's beef got beyond social media after Jay released a diss track aimed at NBA Youngboy. The track, 38K, Facts, was released on Jay's official YouTube channel, where he threw jabs at Youngboy and his crew. I'ma speak on all the facts and tell the just how it is. I'm in my bag and pissed and plus he mad about her when I was on his. He was steadying about me, about begging me to leave her alone. This acting like the, you put that Coming on my post, they laughed about that, but I was laughing while your baby mama gagged all on my J rapped on the track. NBA Youngboy never replied to Jada Youngin and never publicly acknowledged that they had beef. NBA Youngboy wasn't the only one accused of having a hand in Jay's attack. Florida rapper Julio Fulio was also accused of sending goons to attack Jay. Fans begin pointing fingers at Fulio because of his reaction to Jay's passing. The two rappers never beefed publicly, but when Jay was alive, 
live, he subtly took jabs at Julio Fulio on some of his tracks. In addition, Jay constantly attacked Julio Fulio because of his beef history with Young and Ace, who was friends with Jada Youngin. Julio Fulio took to his Instagram page where he wrote, R.I.P. Jada Youngin, you will be missed. LOL. While fans were still trying to wrap their heads around why Julio Fulio would use LOL in a post, Julio followed with another post where he wrote, Dude used to diss me just to be cool with the ops. Even got them boys named Tatted. Now look. Julio ended the write up with a laughing emoji. No doubt he was referring to Young and Ace. This reaction had fans of Jada Youngin pointing fingers at Fulio. However, his reaction may have been due to Jay's subtle diss at him while he was still alive. Julio Fulio shared a response to fans who asked why he mocked Jada Youngin after he passed. According to Fulio, Jay saw him as his op because of his beef with Young and Ace. Think about it like this, bro. Say if you from out of town, right? I'm from Jacksonville, though. Me and my op, we from Jacksonville. So you see what we got going on. So just because you rocking with a rapper, you rocking with a that don't fuck with me. So now you act like you my op. Now you dissing me and so on, saying, Elf my dad, homeboys, this and that. How I'ma feel? What I just put to sit back, just, you know what I'm saying? Be quiet. Don't say nothing. If it was me on the other end, they would've did the same thing. They would've turned up. This man used to wear the baby jerseys. He used to wear the baby jerseys all type, like, he done diss me and so on. Retaliation for Jada Youngin's passing. Not only was Jada Youngin's attack felt in the rap industry, but the people of his hometown in Bogalusa were also moved. So it was no surprise that the police department prioritized the investigations in his case. After his tragic incident, a couple of calls came into the police department reporting heard across town. The police believed that all of the incidents were connected. They were wrong. According to the reports from the cops, no one was hurt during the other two attacks, but they were able to arrest a few suspects related to the attacks. One of the suspects they arrested was Jada Youngin's best friend, rapper FG Famous. FG Famous was arrested in connection to the retaliation attacks across Bogalusa. After Jay's incident, FG Famous was taken into custody in New Orleans while shopping for clothes to wear at his best friend's funeral. On August 7th, 2022. Jay's funeral was held at Bogalusa High School with hundreds of people in attendance for the solemn affair, with many of his friends and family dressed in white and blue. Before the service began, a couple of people were worried that there might be an attack at the funeral, but Bogalusa's mayor, Wendy O'Quinn Perret, assured attendees they'd be safe from violence as she spoke about Jay's tragic passing. The pain that has been caused by the loss of Javeria Scott, aka Jada Youngin, and the injury of Kenyatta Scott Singh is indescribable to the family and friends of these victims and to our community as well, she wrote in part. A proper celebration for the life of someone so young must be possible without fear. I assure each of you that measures are being taken to provide security and safety in our city. On this Sunday especially, every precaution will be taken to protect the citizens of Bogalusa. I consider the safety of our citizens as my singular focus. According to Bogalusa police, a few suspects have also been named named among the five people who ambushed the rapper, but no motive or suspect has been named in the rapper's passing. A post of the funeral showed up on FG Famous's Instagram account shortly after the service that showed Jada Youngin's casket being carried by several pallbearers. The caption read, What a bond to be broken at Jada Youngin. My first stop will be to see you. Pound. Free FG. Pound. LL23. Jada Youngin Family Reaction the day of Jada Youngin's passing was no doubt a tragic day for his family because not only did he lose his life, but his father, Kenyatta Scott Sr., was also injured during the attacks. Before Jay's passing was officially announced, word began spreading on social media that the rapper had kicked the bucket. But Jay's sister, Kenya, quickly took to her social media to address those that claimed that her brother had passed on. She replied to a tweet that announced the rapper's passing and said, Shut up. Y'all don't know what the y'all talking about for real ain't nobody dead she continued stop eating and go read a book however after it was officially confirmed kenya took to her instagram to share a couple of memories of her brother and pictures and videos she wrote in the caption of an instagram post the various no way they took you from me like this broken heart emoji i'm sick to my stomach they wanted this they wanted to see you like this bro i'm so sorry broken heart emoji i love you so much sister is so hurt kenya wrote about how she watched her brother grow his rap career from the ground and all she expressed that she was hurt and heartbroken by the situation 
and she ended her writing by saying, I got JR and I love you so much. 23 forever and I'm standing on it. Black heart emoji, dove emoji, red tear emoji. City will get painted red. A couple of days after Jada Youngin's attack, his grandfather spoke about how sad the incident was and how it affected his family. L.C. Jefferson, Scott's grandfather, said, there will be no stone left unturned until we find out who took him. Without having to mention, it was obvious that the family was devastated over the tragedy that had befallen them. Jefferson, however, gave more details about the incident. This is only what I hear. Someone came from behind the house with a ski mask on and him down in broad daylight on a busy road. People have gotten so comfortable to where they think they can someone down and not be caught, Jefferson said. Jefferson went down memory lane talking about his grandson and how he had struggled to get to the status he achieved. According to Jefferson, Jay would stay up late at night with his cousin and they would both write music together. He was beyond shaken over the loss of his grandson, but he believed that the authority would bring the criminals to book. Jay's girlfriend at the time of his tragic passing, Karina V, also shared a reaction to the incident on her Instagram page. This year has no doubt been some hell of a roller coaster for her. Karina and Jay lost their newborn child barely a month ago on Father's Day. She would never have imagined having to say goodbye to Jay that soon. Karina took to her Instagram to share memories of her and Jay together. She wrote in the caption of the post, Thank God my last words to you were, I love you. I hope you know how much though. I'm so hurt, babe. How could you leave me like that? Broken heart emoji. I would have never left you. Karina went on to describe Jay as a kind-hearted soul, and he always forgave anyone who offended him. She shared how deeply hurt she was after losing her child not a while ago and now had to bear the pain of losing someone she loved she continued first mozzie now you i don't know how i can keep going i'm so hurt